Welcome back, everyone, to News 8, an organization that serves people who are blind and visually impaired. As a new project in this pandemic, WGAL News 8 Susan Shapiro has more. Employees at Vision Corps in Lancaster are using their sewing skills to help in the pandemic. The nonprofit, which employs people who are blind and visually impaired, is producing tens of thousands of cloth masks. I think it's an opportunity for, for us to continue to fulfill our mission, but it's also an opportunity for us to, to serve the community in a way. Lancaster County government ordered 50,000 of the masks, which sell for $250 apiece. They're also listed on a site that markets to state agencies. Mona Matta came out of retirement to oversee the production. Got it up and running in about three or four weeks. And we're, we're production-wise, we're doing really well as far as uh, getting things done on time. Longtime employee Jose Asensio has low vision but does speedy work. He told me through a woman who translated, he enjoys it. I feel very well because I'm experienced and I've been doing this for a very long time, so I enjoy what I do. Vision Corps has been operating throughout the pandemic. That's because its products are considered essential, like the rifle sling for the military. The organization now has another necessary product in its inventory. In Lancaster, Susan Shapiro, WGAL News 8. And Dutchware of Lancaster is partnering with Vision Corps and cutting out the cotton material for the use of those masks.